best thing. The best thing that's happened to the world in the past 20 years. For example, I could text somebody, yo, what's up? Get a text back in five seconds. Man, no, I'm chilling. I'm about to go to the store. Word. That's a text back. What's going on tonight? We about to have a kickback in Marsha's house. That all happened in five minutes. Now, let's see. Can you do that in a letter? Well, first of all, let me tell you, you know the beauty of a letter? Letters are sexy. Let's say you mail a girl a letter. You write this nice letter out. Hey, how you doing? Oh, my God, it's so great to see you. Blah, 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 blah. You send it. You seal it with a kiss. And you mail it. Yeah, it might take five days for her to get it, depending on where she lives. But the fact of it's handwritten, it's beautiful, it's there, it can be kept forever. I, you know, social media, you can't really keep those things. Sometimes they erase. Beautiful letters, no time. Five seconds to next day. You choose. In production, the one thing I really like to use is sample sounds. And one of the basic sample sounds I like to use is a kick drum. Now, a sample kick, you can't beat it. It's just the thickness of it. When you hear a sample kick, like through a club, through a car system, even like your, your, your portable player, it's just like, poof, it's just the crunchiness of it. it. It's the staple of hip hop. Listen to my kick, listen. Listen to the ruggedness, listen to the... And just look at the manual control of it on the SB1200, listen. Ah, thickness. Now, that sounds kinda cool, but listen to my kick. Sounds a little bit better. It's all thin and sterile sounding. That's a that's a good kick. That, that, that kick sounds like it belongs in like in the doctor's office. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This sounds like belongs your in kick, the basement. Your kick sounds like it got ran over a few times. <laughs> the kicks I use are kicks that cut through everything. The kicks that I cut through the clubs, that means it'll be like ooh, 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 ooh. Those kicks that make you wanna pop lock and dance, the kicks that you hear on your radio that you, yeah. Now, sample kicks can't do that. Sample kicks is just more, it's more rounded. It's we don't want those kicks. We like the, the nice knocking kicks that you can hear on your radio and that you hear in clubs. Nothing beats a sampled snare as part of your drum kick. Now, now check this out. As I was saying before, has a little bit of the bass and the crunchiness, but still has the snap of kind of like a mid-range highs type of thing, which kind of gives it that. Look at this, look at this. It's perfect, can't beat it. Once again, a weak sounding sound from a weak sounding machine. Crisp wins all day, every day. Listen to this snare. Oh, that sounds so whack. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so weak. Go ahead, press it. Listen, listen, Lil. Come on. This, this is clearly like, I could just play a snare with no other beat at a party and people start jumping. No. <laughs> I don't have to, all Nobody I gotta do is go like this. Jump to that. I can just go like this. <laughs> Hit record. Kick, snare, kick, snare. It's unbelievable. Another part of my repertoire, in addition to having sampled sounds, would be the sample hi-hat. Now, I have to admit, like, it's really tough to find a good sample hat at sometimes because sometimes the records can be dusty, but when you do find that sample hat, it's crazy. It just makes your whole drum kit just sound like it, it's, it's, it's just gully. It, it completes the sound. Without that, it would just sound like garbage. Listen to the hi-hat. Dusty, but funky. Listen to that. Listen to a little. I think we all know who won this, clearly, because that was the most disgusting hi-hat I ever heard in my life. This is how a hi-hat should sound, okay? See, you see how clear and crispy it sounds? This will fit in any beat. Sample sound, can't beat it. Crisp, once again, can't beat that.
diet is very important. And let me explain to you what my diet consists of. First of all, I like to start off with some fruits and vegetables, hence organic, cage-free everything. I like to go up and get some grains, some you know healthy fibers, some lean meats, poultry, fish, lean beef, no pork. Great diet, keep you healthy, keep you strong. That sounds all good, whatever. But my diet, hot pockets. Four cheese, preferably, you know. You got your American cheese, mozzarella cheese, Swiss cheese, and some other cheese, right? Then you got your, your, your tomato sauce inside, that covers your, that knocks out all the other groups, because that, that covers your vegetable, and it's also a fruit. Then you got your drinks. I prefer Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid's the best, because then you got red and purple, and then the sugar is good for adrenaline. That's, that's my pyramid. Hot pockets and Kool-Aid. Oh yeah! Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.